Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game. The first step is to restart the computer. Simply restart the computer once and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to disable Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then select disable input over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can go to properties once again, controller, and this time you can try enable steam input and then check. But for many users, disabling steam input has worked, so you can try this. Next step is to enable controller in sound control panel. Now, for this, use wired connection. So connect your controller, your Xbox or PS5 controller using a USB cable. Once you connect your controller using the cable to the computer, now enable control controller in sound control panel so type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then you can go to sound option now once you over here you will see your speaker and here you can see dual sense wireless controller make a right click and then click on configure speakers quadraphonic and then you can click on next make sure you put a check on the box which is front left and right and surround speaker put a check on both the boxes and then click on next click on finish okay now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable steam input and then connect controller using the USB cable and relaunch the game. So for this, you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties, controller tab, and select disable Steam input. Once you disable it, now you can connect your controller using the USB cable and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to PlayStation controller user use DS4 Windows. So you can Google DS4 Windows. You can install this application on your computer and then you can check. Next step is to unplug if you have extra external devices connected like hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected. So disconnect multiple monitor, disconnect arcade stick. If you have any kind of virtual controller like Viso, Viso etc., you can uninstall it and then restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to launch the Steam in big picture mode. Now for this, you can go to Steam on the top right. At the top right here, you can see enter big picture mode icon. Click on big picture mode and launch Steam in big picture mode. Once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to update the controller so first of all close the game update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app now uh, you can for xbox controller user you can type in uh, open microsoft store first and then you can search for xbox accessories app click on xbox accessories and if not install install it then click on open and now you have to connect your controller using the usb cable connect the controller using the usb cable now once you connect the cable let me launch the yeah launch xbox accessories now once you connect your controller using the usb cable over here uh, you will see three dots in my case i have not connected my controller using the usb cable once you connect it you will see three dots click on the three dots and then if there is an update pending you will see update option update your controller now if you're using like PlayStation controller, then you can open PlayStation Accessories app. If you don't have like PlayStation Accessories app installed, in that case, uh, you can just uh, search for PlayStation Accessories app in Google search. And then you can install PlayStation Accessories app, go to PlayStation website, and then download it, install it, and then once installed, you can launch it. And then now make sure that you connect your controller once connected. Now 
me launch it once again. Let me launch it once again. And you will see your uh, control over here. If not up to date, you will see update option or install option. Update the firmware and then you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to use wired connection. So if nothing is working, you can just connect your controller using the USB cable and then launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.